Shalom to Dr. Ben Fox of the Asafa Rafe Shamir Medical Center. Hi, Yoni. So in Israel, we're obligated to go with our face masks. Uh, you can get fined if a police officer finds you without a face mask. But you're telling us today, listen up, you have to remember, not all masks are the same. Yeah, so um, th we have to do make a little bit of, try and make a bit of uh, order out of the uh, out, out of what we've got. So um, the 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 health ministry suggested uh, instructed us to use uh, masks in public. Okay, and that's probably a good thing. We're, there are two reasons to wear a mask. The first reason is to protect ourselves. Okay, if somebody coughs. These droplets are coming towards me. If they get into my nose, I'm probably going to pick, get sick with corona. The other reason is to stop me, stop ourselves from infecting other people. Now, obviously, if we're sick, we shouldn't be going out at all, okay? But we know, unfortunately, that there's a quite a large number of people who pick up coronavirus. They're walking around. They don't know they've got it and innocently spreading it around. And again, that's a place where wearing a mask can be really effective in stopping the spread in the community. So there are two masks. One is a selfish reason and for myself, and the other is an altruistic uh, social reason. Okay, so there are two reasons for people to wear masks in public, and I think that you know I think people should should be wearing masks, and I think it's important. I think that it's going to be part of our long term strategy to stop a second wave. So then we get to the next question, which is what kind of mask should people wear? And so we've got these masks here. I happen to be here in my office in the Shamir Medical Center at Safa Rafe. And we've got these masks here. This is the N95 mask. That's like the sort of healthcare workers mask. Um, and we've got these masks here, which is what's called a surgical mask. Uh, and then there's this whole sort of wild west of, of fabric, homemade fabric masks. and and. It's these homemade fabric masks that I wrote about on, on my Facebook page. Uh, caused a bit of controversy. A lot of people read it. A lot of people reacted. Some people got pretty mad. Um, uh, and I have to say that I'm, I, I'm not confident that fabric masks are the way to go so long as everybody can get hold of these. And, you know, thank God right now in, in Israel, it's pretty easy to get hold of the surgical masks. They're, they're relatively inexpensive. And I think you know, these are the ways to go. So what is basically the problem with these fabric masks? The problem with, um, with the fabric masks is that we don't really know, and there haven't really been clear instructions from the health ministry how to make them, okay? So there's thousands of different kinds of fabrics. Different fabrics have different size holes in them between the fibers okay we don't know how many layers of fabric and we don't have clear instructions how many masks we need per person and how we need to be uh, cleaning these masks washing them in the, in the washing machine at what temperature do we need to add a cap full of bleach each time just to sterilize we don't know there's, there's we don't know and um what worried me was uh, a paper i read uh that came out of asia uh, from the the first sars epidemic and it was a paper looking at what happened to healthcare workers. Okay, so these are people obviously with a high exposure to coronavirus, not the current one we have now, the previous coronavirus. And what it showed was the people who were wearing uh, fabric masks compared to people who were wearing a surgical mask like this, they actually had an increased, massively increased, uh, 13 times increased rate of getting sick with uh, flu-like symptoms. Not everybody they proved it was corona, but you know, that's the assumption. Um, and so, you know, and there, there, there might be a lot of reasons for that. You know, it's all a little bit speculative. It might be that the people wearing the fabric mask weren't washing them properly or not often enough, or maybe they were touching the masks, maybe because they felt like they were protected, they did more risky activities. You know, we don't really know 100%, but, very strong circumstantial evidence that a fabric mask, if you're not really taking care of it properly, might increase the risk to ourselves, our selfish reason for wearing the mask. Okay? We don't know what about transmitting it to other people. I, I presume it's somewhat effective. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's the data that we have from the previous SARS epidemic. 
Okay, now let's end with clarifying something that, you know, doesn't really need clarification, but a mask needs to be on one's mouth and nose. It doesn't really help if it's on the, 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 the chin or the forehead. Yeah, so let me just, just show you. So, I mean, I, I've seen all sorts of uh, goofy mask fashion styles. I've, I've seen, you know, I've seen this, and I've seen people, you know, sort of putting it like this. And, of course, you know, the virus penetrates via the nose. So, you know, if you're not putting it on here and kind of pinching it on around your nose, you're not doing anything. I, you know, I've seen people walking around like that. I mean, you know, if, if we want to be serious about mask wearing in public, I, I think we should all be using these masks. I think these are the best compromise for, for most people. You know, the cheap, disposable, you know, just don't touch the front when you take it off. Uh, and, you know, uh, just make sure your mouth and nose is covered. Okay. That way you're protecting, that's the way you're protecting yourself. And if, heaven forbid, you're a silent carrier of corona and you're not sick, but you could spread it, you'll be protecting your, your friends, your neighbors, your family, the guy next to you in, this, in the line at the, at the store. Dr. Ben Fox of the Asafar Fish Amir Medical Center, thank you very much for joining us. Well, thank you very much for inviting me to, to, to the broadcast. Thank you.